Hello and welcome to another episode of Alex's Afternoon Art Show. We're continuing from where we left off. Today we're doing Wolverine uh, as a part of this mural thing that I've decided to do, which is now torture. Well, we're only on the second one. I'm not going to say it's torture yet, but it will be. It will be. Okay. Now, since I've done, uh, or, or since yesterday, I've done the next two bases, uh, that being Cyclops and, and Jill Valentine, uh, they're going to be the next two that I do after this one, so I guess uh, minor spoilers if you care. But uh, realistically, as of now, it doesn't really matter all that much, <laughs> the order in which I do them. It'll only matter once we get to a certain point in the, uh, in the actual videos themselves, because once we get to that point, it'll be a case of where we'll start unlocking characters in order or not in order per se but we'll be unlocking them in and in that in whatever order we choose and then i'll start adding them to this in the order that we unlock them makes more sense as it stands i'm just adding in the characters that are currently or that are unlocked by default which is about i don't know like 20 20 something i think are unlocked by default so there's still a ton of additional ones, but uh, yeah, there's a there's a good few, and basically I'm trying to pick ones of where it's like, oh, it's one Marvel, one Capcom, one Marvel, one Capcom, and then I'm trying to make it ones that make sense to kind of do one then the other, something like that, something that or it makes a little bit more sense to kind of flip flop like that. Um, but yeah, today we're doing Wolverine, uh, and I should say now I'm not going to be doing Bone Claw Wolverine because that is pointless. Um, but yeah, um, so, uh, something which is worth mentioning, I, well, before we kind of get too deep into this, I'm just going to turn off the other characters so that we can focus on Wolverine, because that's, that's how we have to do it, um, but something I think which is worth mentioning is, yeah, it's something which you might notice is that Wolverine's proportions are kind of a little strange, and again, I've been trying to exaggerate a little bit. With this more so than I than I have been before in the past with, with a lot of the drawings that I normally do. Um, I've been trying to, yeah, as I say, exaggerate a touch more, stuff like that. So it's a case of where I only used a head for reference on Wolverine. I mentioned this in the last video actually. Ryu, I had a full body reference, whereas at Wolverine, and I just kind of changed bits. Uh, but with Wolverine, I had only just the head. I only used a head as reference, and then the rest I kind of sketched out myself. So the proportions might be a little weirder on this than say they would have been on Ryu. On Ryu they would have been more consistent, but on this it's a case of where his upper body is very wide and chunky. Um, and yeah, so th that's kind of just, that's the reason for that I guess. But yeah, like bits around kind of here will be a lot smaller, because again we're using a bit more perspective in this. Um, but again I am doing this after Bengus. So there's a lot of bits here, like how exaggerated the, the shape of Wolverine's kind of pointy bits are here. Um, I should remove this curl, because they don't curl up the way the Bengus draws them. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I don't see any point in, in, in lingering on, uh, in, in meandering conversationally. But something I should also, also reiterate, yeah, with the headphones on, because my new method now is that listening to stuff while I'm not talking. <laughs> There's no point in sitting in silence the whole time. Um, but yeah, this kind of keeps me active. And if I think of something to say, I stop what I'm doing, and then I talk. So that's the kind of minor alterations to the format. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's do the drawing now. Thing which I wanted to mention, um, a way which uh, is going to probably permeate throughout all of these is the way that I'm drawing mouths now. So for example you can see here that there's like a this kind of upward curve here around the top. 
So, um, that's just a thing I started doing. Like, even if I turn on Psychops pretty soon, you'll be able to see it with his mouth. There's like a little curve there. His mouth is much more curved. Um, and it's a bit more of like an animated kind of thing. Just the, that kind of thing is more an animation that they can use that type of thing there. It's just, it helps perspectives and things like that. Just kind of portraying, yeah, movements and all that stuff. But I have it here just a bit better. And also that's how Bengus draws mouths. Uh, in a lot of the, the Marvel uh, versus Capcom stuff, anyways, it's, uh, it's that kind of uh, that kind of method of where it's yeah the kind of slightly rounding, uh, slightly round rounding off the top and then the bottom as well. Or the bottom is usually quite flat in a lot of cases, but yeah. Or even to be honest, the teeth. I don't normally point Wolverine's teeth. I think it looks kind of weird. I think that's a Sabretooth thing, because Sabretooth should look more savage than Wolverine, I think. But anyways, Bengus draws the, the teeth as being a little bit more pointed. He emphasizes the the, uh, the canines. Um, so, I said, screw up. I'll emphasize the canines. That's how the character is depicted in the game. That's how I'm going to depict him here. He's also depicted as having stubble. So, I'll be doing the stubble. Um, but yeah, that was just a brief aside. finished the details. Um, yeah, no, there was a few things actually which I wanted to touch on, which I didn't really go into as I was doing it, because I just kind of, I got very focused very quickly. Um, so the way that, that Bengus does um, Wolverine's hair uh, is specifically that he doesn't do any arm hair on Wolverine. But I always feel like Wolverine should have a lot of arm hair, because Wolverine's supposed to be a very hairy man. So, well, Bengus does do a little bit of it. It just depends on what particular image you're looking at. And it's generally very faint, but I generally make it quite heavy. Um, or just, you know, just like a very kind of full hair, because, I mean, I think Wolverine's got black hair, so you'd think the hair on his arms would be very dark. Um, another thing is that a lot of... Uh, the kind of costume I feel like I haven't really done a lot of detailing on and to be honest doesn't really need it like around the chest you've got these stretch lines because his, his well realistically his arms are forward so they wouldn't really well but maybe be stretch lines because like I'm looking at reference here of how Bengus draws like a, a, a pose kind of like this and there's, and there's some stretch lines in his chest but yeah whatever um anyways um, like stuff like the claws I altered a little bit. I was initially thinking, oh, they should be straight, but then I was looking at how Bengus does it, and they're very curved, and that's kind of how a lot of artists, how a lot of artists tend to kind of go for Wolverine's uh, claws, like a slight curve, and then like that flat part at the end, uh, and that tends to work a little better, I find. Um, but yeah, I've, I've made Wolverine very chunky and kind of stocky, and that is kind of most evident in his feet or in his kind of legs of where they're very thick um, but yeah that's the kind of cartoonier angle I suppose I've taken here a little bit than what I'd normally do but like I said the last time um, this is the point where I'm going to take a very brief break if there were ads this would be where they'd roll 
but um, I'm going to take a very brief break. This time, it will actually be about five minutes, because I don't want to be here all night, <laughs> like the last time. Okay, I'm back, and despite my protestations to the contrary, I was gone for about an hour. <laughs> or longer. I don't know, I wasn't exactly keeping track. I needed to have a snack, and also stand up so that my back wasn't sore. But yeah, like last time, uh, we're doing, obviously we're still doing the dots, but we're doing them much fainter. Uh, we're not going to be going quite as crazy as I have been in the past, just kind of toning it all down and making it simpler. So that uh, it's much easier to get done. And yeah. Um, what was the thing I wanted to talk about? There was something which was floating around in my mind there. Getting a lot of this brain fog recently. Uh, it happened at the end of the last video, and I still don't remember what I meant to say at the end of that video. Normally it happens like, normally I remember like the night that I'm about to go to sleep. It's a case of where it's like, there was that thing I meant to say. Uh, but no, nope, not getting it this time. Not getting it at all. Still don't know what it was going to be. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I hate this. I hate when that happens. My brain just completely fails me. I'm not old enough for this to be such a regular occurrence. Okay, there's our dots done, which means now it's onto the color. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the stuff here is kind of... The thing is, we've drawn Wolverine so many times on this show, it's kind of hard to... I say we've drawn it a lot, but this is the third time, I think. But yeah, it's still, that's a lot of times. <laughs> that's a lot of times for one character at this point. Um... But yeah, I, I feel like I've kind of said a lot of the stuff I want to say about what we've designed. This is the kind of optimal design. There's a lot more stuff I want to say about other characters' designs that we'll get to as, as we're going along. Because there's a lot of characters here that I've never drawn on this show before, or I've never drawn before at all. Um, which is fun. Fun to kind of do that type of thing. Um, yeah, like I mean... This is the thing, we've already kind of talked a lot about a lot of the stuff that I wanted to talk about with these um, already in the past. Uh, specifically with Wolverine. We've already talked Wolverine to death at this point, I think. Uh, and I mean, yeah. At this point, it's realistically it's going to be, I suppose, if anything springs to mind in particular. I forgot to do that bit of the shading. Ugh. God damn it. That'll take five seconds. Hang on. I hate whenever this happens. Just realized that. Got to shade the other side of his claws. God. I hate whenever I forget stuff like that. It's very frustrating. There. As much of it as I need to do. Okay. Now we can get back to this. Get back to what I actually wanted to do. <laughs> and get these colours underway. Um, yep, I've got my blue here just in case I need to flip over. Um, and yep, I'm probably going to try and pick some very vibrant colours for this because we're going to want this to really pop. I say that just as my knuckles pop. Um, but yeah, we're going to want the colours to really kind of stick out here because... Like, like with Ryu's um, red gloves, I really want the kind of the colours here to be very very almost like not even overblown but very bright because I mean we're dealing with cartoony comic -y stuff here so I mean I kind of want this to, to look good to look good and very eye-catching um, so yeah that's the kind of overall vibe we're going for that'll probably come across more as we're going along like the Cyclops and using very deep blues with, with uh, Jill Valentine also very deep blues 
Um, and with Wolverine, very bright yellow. <laughs> well, not like too bright, obviously, but I want to use a bright yellow. Anyways, let's get on with this. Okay, so that thing I said I, was, I wasn't going to do last time being make a little key here, I'm going to do that because I can't be bothered to go through all these folders every time. I don't know why I, I thought I'd, I'd want to do that at any point. Um, yeah, I'll just make these little blotches here so that I can pick and choose as I go. Just come back and take the ones that I want. Um, just make my life easier in the future, but yeah, basically done with Wolverine now. There's very little we need to do at this stage. It's literally just yeah, as I say, the uh, the lighting stuff. And oh, that's it. Yeah, and yeah. Um, oh yeah, I need to make little notes of these. So I don't have to do that again Oops. in the future. I can just go and grab them from there. And that just makes my life a lot easier. Oops. Um, yeah, it just makes it so that I don't have to do that again. Um, but yeah, I feel like Wolverine's colors are very vibrant here. They're as bright as I kind of want them to be. Uh, and yeah, our colors here are going to, or our shading here is going to kind of hit this in a way that it'll make, it shouldn't kind of over exaggerate the uh, just how bright these colors are because I mean, the thing is on Ryu it isn't that bright and particularly all this black it's going to be kind of hard to see a lot of the stuff so yeah it's it's going to be one of those things I think where it's kind of just wait and see I suppose and see how it looks as we're going it's going to be very hard to shade on the black, is the only thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, again, I feel like this has been a quieter one, but again, I feel like I've already said literally everything I can say at this point about drawing Wolverine. We've done it so often on this show. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I've been talking about before during this, I've been kind of experimenting a little bit with some of these, experimenting with some kind of slightly less kind of realistic stuff. Because that's usually the way that my art tends to skew is slightly more realistic, but with this I'm kind of skewing a little bit more animated and I think that works for this. Um, I think in future we'll probably continue to do it the way that I normally do it, but um, who knows, might end up kind of doing more stuff like this of where it's kind of a little bit more animated, a little bit less kind of realistic. basically in the same situation that we were in last night of where it's uh, now quite dark <laughs> it's getting there um, but we're nearly done anyways so it's uh, yeah and as I as I said before we're gonna be doing the the light line on the darker part of the character now just because it gives them a little bit more 
illumination. It kind of spreads out the the shading a little bit more, and it just looks a little better. Because yeah, it kind of here at least it's gonna. It's a little bit weird for some reason. Mm. I'll just keep going with it for a few seconds and see what happens. But yeah, as I was saying, um, we're kind of going on the uh, yeah. So the way that we're doing the kind of the the light lines for these is that the uh, the light lines are going to be on the the side that has the darker shading because that means that the uh, you get the kind of full spectrum of lighting where you get the soft light and then into the darkest part and then into the lightest part so it kind of it looks a little bit more natural that way but yeah as i've kind of reiterated a million and one times now i feel like i've kind of said everything i need to with this one um so yeah and again i feel like this is going to be a bit of a quieter one in terms of yeah like talking not very much talking in this in this one it's fairly kind of yeah we already know the deal when it comes to Wolverine. We've drawn him a million and one times. Um, and there's just the little things like, yeah. Um, doing all these little bits of shading and everything like this. And all that stuff. Um, yeah. So I suppose realistically, with this whenever I come back in, I'll do the same thing as I did last time. Just a very quick sign off and then kind of have that be it. Um, yeah. Okay, and again, as the sun sets, as does, um, we, we finish. <laughs> That was a, a miserably awkward segue. Anyways, yeah, so we got the light line done, everything's kind of done here, we're, we're all finished with Wolverine. I might need to thin out some of this light line, but I'll do that afterwards. Um, I guess you'll see it next time. But yeah, next time we're going to be doing Jill, Jill Valentine. Um, she's the next one on my list, because uh, we're doing Capcom Marvel, Capcom Marvel, and uh, then after that will be Cyclops. And then by the time I do the next one, you'll see maybe a couple more... Um, just base sketches lingering around so yeah exciting stuff but anyways yeah if you like the video do what you'd normally do um subscribe if you want uh, i'm forgetting most of the outro as is as is custom i only remember about half of it each time and it, it, yeah i only do some of it each time as well so yeah anyways um there's definitely an important piece which i'm missing here I need to write this down so that I can just have this in front of me and that it's not as much of an issue. Anyways, I'm rambling. But, uh, yeah. Uh, bye bye.